when it comes on to our headlamp bulb on our brake light and park light bulb these bulbs are what we call double filament bulb the construction of these circuits is different when compared to a circuit that carries a single filament because the connector would look something like this that has three prong so one would represent high beam one would represent low beam one would represent the grounds when we have our controller which is this switch right here which is this switch right here we have off we have low beam and we have high beam so this single switch right here will control the high beam and low beam of our lighting system the schematic diagram that i have on the board would represent a high beam low beam headlamp circuit this drawing is not necessarily representative of any particular model vehicle or system it is just a general drawing that represents operating principle so here we have the switch here we have a high beam and a low beam headlamp bulb here we have a high beam and a low beam relay these circuits is what we call a compound circuit and you know that when we said compound it's more than one circuit in one so let I first explain how the high beam circuit work when we turn on the high beam this relay right here which everyone knows by this time a relay is a electromechanical switch the relay is being supplied by a battery positive from the fuse box and this switch right here is a bronze control whenever we activate 85 whenever I send bronze to 85 on the relay the relay was already getting a battery positive from 86 when this is activated or powered, it will create an electromagnetic force which will cause the contact of pin 30 and 87. But if we should look in front of 30, we also have a fuse that is being powered by a battery positive. So when the circuit at 30 and 87 close, voltage will then supply to the high beam. But right here we also have a junction. And this wire now that joins the junction now, electron will flow and go to the high beam. So both high beam circuit will be activated. And if you notice, this circuit is what we call a parallel circuit. So if the high beam on this side fail, it will not affect the high beam up here. And vice versa. Notice. There are three prongs to the bulb, and the three prongs to the bulb, we have a bronze in the center, just like this right here, where we have the bronze. So this is how the high beam work. The low beam now, so just like this, we had it on the, the low beam, when it turns on, we had it on the low beam. Or uh, when we had it on the high beam. So if we turn on the low beam now, we'll activate the lower circuit in the green. So we're here we have a relay that represents the low beam circuit. Low beam circuit. We already have a power supply to P86. When we turn on the low beam, a bronze will send to pin 85. It will create an electromagnetic force. And then this force now will cause the circuit between 30 and 87 to be activated. This battery positive now, of course, there's a process, will send voltage to the low beam circuit. So it sends voltage to the low beam filament right here and it sends voltage to the low beam filament right here. So this is a schematic diagram of the high beam low beam lighting circuit. Our 
um, brake light and park light compound circuit will work on a similar principle. So when you go in the workshop, you want to identify the high beam relay, the low beam relay, will also identify the fuse that operate the high beam and the low beam in the workshop. All right?